Hey there, I'm going to show you how to reverse or invert or flip the phase of an impulse response, an IR, on a Strymon Iridium. And I do this because I would like to use some presets with uh, two of my Strymon Iridium pedals. I have two of them and I run them in stereo. And if I run one side, the chime side, and the other side, the round side, they are out of phase with each other. So for example, I'm running into my Apollo interface and this is the console software, so it's basically a channel strip. This left side right here is the chime setting, the AC30 setting. This right channel is the round or the fender channel. I flipped the phase on the fender channel, and um, and this is the impulse manager for just the 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 right pedal or the the round pedal. So anyway, uh, have the phase inverted. Not sure how the audio is going to sound coming through my MacBook speakers um, as I'm recording this video, but that sounds full and big to me. If you take this phase off, it sounds like a pile of doo-doo. So what I wanna do, instead of having to flip the phase on a channel or you know make the sound person responsible for that, is I just wanted to figure out how to do it myself with the Iridium, and lo and behold, you can do it. So here's what you do. you uh, find the IR that you want to invert. In my case, I'm using David Hislop's IRs, and I like this G10V 545 mic position 3. What I'm going to do with that, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say INV for invert. Then I'm going to set up a logic session at 96K, 24-bit. That's important because that's what the IR file is in. Then I'm going to take this newly created yeah, IR file that's called INV. I'm going to drag it in there. You can see that uh, that's the waveform right there. Um, and it starts going up. So double click on it. Click File here. Go to Functions. Invert. And then you see how it just flipped. And actually, that action is destructive. So you don't even need to export this file. You don't need to save it or bounce it or anything. I'm just going to quit logic. Don't save. This file has been altered. OK, so now I'm going to go into the impulse response folder, find my freshly inverted IR, drag it in there. Now, if I play that one, it sounds like doo-doo with this out of phase. But now it sounds full and amazing. If I go back to this non-inverted one, that sounds like junk. This inverted one, perfect. So this should sound the exact same as this with that inverted. And to my ears, it does. So that's how you successfully flip the phase of an impulse response.